Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is another in my series of practice sessions for the RHCSA certification exam. And um, today's video, or not just today's video, I'm doing a, a few of these in a day since I'm close to my exam date. So I'm, I'm knocking some of these out here. Uh, the topic for this video is going to be extend existing logical volumes, which is under the create and configure file systems um, set of objectives for the um, for the RHCSA. I want to remind you these aren't necessarily um, designed to be authoritative information, or rather give authoritative information. That being said, I'm trying to make the information as accurate as possible, and um, if you find that I've, I've, I've done something inaccurate, by all means, leave a comment because I want to make sure that I'm, I'm doing it right for my own, own exam. And then others that watch the video, if I happen to make a mistake with it, would, would like to see what the accurate information is as well. Before I dive in, I want to remind you to click like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when, when I do some new content. So I have my VM here. Let me go into the terminal. And I'm going, to, I'm going to do this real quick. I know that I have my extra devices here. I'm going to go ahead and PV create. No, VDD is the larger one. So VDD. What? Oh, I need to run this as root, obviously. So let me just go ahead and sudo into the root account. Since a lot of the stuff I'm going to be doing has to be done as root. So let's try this again. PV create VDD. Well, it might help if, I'm, if I give it the, the full name. Some of my other videos have already been in the dev directory. There we go. Now VG create, test VG. I'm using dev VDD for that. And LV creates. I know this has like 15 gigs, I think. Uh, let's look at LS block. Yeah, 15 gigs. All right, so now I'm going to make logical volume. Uh, LV creates name. I'm going to call it test LV. And we're going to start with it at 5 gigabytes. And this is in the test VG. Okay, so logical volume test LV is made, and it's 5 gigabytes, and we see it there in the um, LS block view. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to use XFS for this, and so I'm going to do, make a directory, mount folder, and let's go ahead and make a file system. So XFS, make FS, XFS. Dev, test VG, test LV. All right, and we'll go ahead and mount that to MNT. All right, so there's our file system, five gigabytes. And the objective is we need to extend existing logical volumes. All right, so there's a couple of things that that would happen as a part of this. One is literally extending the logical volume, and then if you have a um, a file system on it, you would want to extend that file system to be able to make use of the data that you just gave it. So we'll start with extending the logical volume. So if I do LV display, I see that I have my logical volume here the dev test VG, we see the size of, um, of this five gigabytes. One of the first things we need to do is uh, make sure that we actually have enough space for that. So if I do VG display and I find my test VG, all right, VG size, total uh, allocated physical extents and size, and I see that I have 10 gigs available. So I do have enough room or enough storage in this um, volume group to be able to give the um, logical volume some, some more storage. So to do this, we'll do LV extend. And this, I think I have to do the actual, the full 
path of the device. I don't think I can just do name. Well, we'll try name first. So what do we call that? Test LV. And you can do either dash lowercase l or dash uppercase l. And if you do dash lowercase l, that can be used to define the number of literal um, extents to give to the um, the logical volume. You can also do that for percentage free. So let's say that you want to um, you want to give like all of the rest of the free space that's in your volume group to the logical volume. You can do dash lowercase l 100% um, free and free is with all capital letters and then your volume group name. But we're going to be doing this um, you dictating the amount of storage to add. So I'm going to do dash l and I want to add one gigabyte to this. And then the volume group we're getting this from is test VG. Okay, I figured that was not going to work because we have to give it the actual path. So that would be dev test VG test LV. What? Volume test VG not found in volume group test. Ah, I see. I don't need to tell it the. Well, that's a mistake I made. Let's take a look at the man page real quick. Yeah. Ah, I see. Huh, well, that's curious. Obviously, I haven't practiced this much, otherwise, I probably would have recognized it. I do not need to tell it its volume group. And it interpreted that as another physical me telling you another physical volume cool All right. well well that's one of the reasons why I'm doing these practice videos you learn so we'll do this without the test VG alright that was successful we've made it to be uh, plus one gig to six gigs now if I were to look at my file system it is still five gigabytes so I need to resize my file system there's a couple ways that 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 will do this the first way and I'm kind of going through the like, maximum number of steps that that you um, that, that you can do to make this happen and we're going to use um, XFS grow FS which is the utility that will grow a file system and I believe um, for ext4 it'll be tuned to FS is, that, is it tuned to FS? Hmm, I'll have to look that up in just a moment. Anyway, so we'll do XFS grow FS dev. Uh, we can do dev mapper. This will work just as well. And DF minus H, and we now see that that is six gigabytes. So another way to do this, um, let's do LV extend again. We're going to give it another gigabyte. So dev test VG test LV dash L plus one gig ah, forgot Let's do this once again we're gonna give it yeah another gigabyte and we're gonna do dash R and what the dash R does is go ahead and extend the the file system for you so if I do DF minus H we see this is now up to eight gigs in size I'm fairly sure I've read somewhere, it might have been in Red Hat documentation itself, that it's recommended, like it's the best practice to go ahead and use dash R um, for that, rather than doing the extra step of extending the file system. And, th and probably one of the th reasons for that is that should work with almost any file system. In case in point, let's make, um, let's see, let's look at our... Uh, volume group see how much space we have left so we have about seven gigs left so let's make another logical volume well we create dash and we'll call this ext4 lv and we're going to make it one gig in size and we are going to do this on test vg all right and we have that there. Let's give it a file system. Make FS ext4. All right. 
Let's give it a place to mount. EXTR, we're going to change the name of that. There we go. And let's mount our device here. And there we go. All right, so that's mounted. So if we want to extend this, let's do LV extend dev test VG. We're going to extend it. We're just going to do um, 500 megabytes and then dash R. And that should have extended it for us. And it did. So let's do this again. And we're going to give another 500 megabytes I'm just using pressing up for that and let's see if we can manually do that now I want to think it's tuned to FS let's check the man file real quick does that allow you to grow the file system I tend to use XFS more than I use EXT4 so I guess this is something between now and my test I need to um, I need to investigate more. I think it's tuned to FS. All right, let's reopen the man page again. Or is it some type of extend? Let's look at this one more time. So let's say I'm in the middle of the test. This is what I'm going to have to do. If so, if I've forgotten how to do EXT4, scanning the man page here. And so we have extended options. I know we'll use that for video. It has to be something to grow, because I know you can grow an ext4 file system. All right, so let's do man-k ext4. Let's see what we get here. Resize to FS, that's it. So the dash k for man um, is basically going to search the, I think, name and description so resize 2fs that is what we want all right so uh let's do resize 2fs now the xt4 and believe that worked let's check dfh no it did not all right this directory while opening all right so i guess we have to do that on the actual device FS, so that'll be dev test v d ext4 lv there we go so we have to do that on the actual device itself online resizing required df dash h yep and now it's uh it, it's two gigs so resize 2 fs is the ext4 thing to do and, and i guess i can see why you would have a best practice of doing dash r when you're doing LV extend because that will give you um, that'll, that'll go ahead and handle doing the file system for you and you don't, you don't have to remember the specific utility per file system so one other thing I want to, to note is there's a difference between using the plus sign versus uh, just putting a number there if we're trying to extend the logical volume so what I mean by this let's do um, LV extend We'll do the let's do the ext4 one and dash l and I'm just going to say one gig. I'm not doing a plus sign, just one gig. Let's we'll see what happens. Ah, so it says new given size is not larger than the existing size. We're trying to extend it, but I'm telling it, hey, I want you to make you to make you smaller because I'm not. What I'm saying is make this thing one gig i'm not saying add a gig i'm not saying replace uh s subtract a gig i'm just saying make it be a gig so that's one thing to to keep in mind when you're you're doing this whether or not you add your plus sign if you already know that you want to make this be you know five gigs large you don't necessarily need to do plus whatever to make the math work you can simply tell it 5g and i'm going to go ahead and do minus r and df dash h 
and it goes ahead and makes the size difference as needed. You'll notice this is 4.9. This gets back to the idea of extents and the number of extents needed to get the amount of file system you need, and that's not like one-to-one -one kind of thing. You can look at CLV display. I think this will show logical extent size. If logical extents are a thing, pretty sure they are. I know the the physical extents are a thing on the um, on your volume groups, but you get the idea with that. So I think this covers extending existing logical volumes because we had logical volumes, we added space to it. If you found this video useful, make sure you click like on it. Also, don't hesitate to subscribe, ring the bell, and feel free to, to leave me comments. I love getting feedback and answering questions when I can, or if I can't answer the question, I might be able to point you in the right direction for an answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time.